Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool bubble machine. A pretty simple bubble machine with just a random plastic container, some dry ice, and soap and water. It's pretty easy. Let's get to it. So how to make it, it's pretty easy. First, take your dry ice and uh, crush it up. Basically, crushing it will allow it to have more surface area, which when it uh, reacts, um, when it comes in contact with water, produces gas a lot more faster, a lot faster, which will make, you know, the soap come out. The bubbles come out, sorry. First, you just take your dry ice, put it in a container, like that, like so, put it in well. Um, next, what you wanna do is add your soap, and add a hefty amount of soap, just in case you, know, you run out of it. Wait. I'd put some dry ice inside the soap canister, that canister that's also filled up. But whatever, just put your soap in, FD amount, come on. And before I do it, uh, before I put the water in and actually make it go bubbles, I actually tell you how it works. Basically, when the dry ice uh, reacts with water, start turning into a gas, CO, frozen CO2, it turns to a gas, it sublines. And when it goes through that soap, the soap, like you know, it makes bubbles when you blow into it. So basically, the air that's created from this, uh, dry ice subliming that goes inside the bubbles and makes bubbles automatically therefore give me an automatic bubble machine and you don't have any don't have to buy any stupid toys for that bubble machine and now uh let's do it so i've come to a better area to actually get the bubble making machine ready and one more thing i've got to say uh, use a dry, uh, plastic container just in case your dry ice stays at the bottom for too long without water the glass might shatter plastic doesn't but still, don't leave the dry ice too much just in here. As soon as you put the dry ice, get your water ready and do it. Let's go. Oh, guys, did you see that? So first, all the normal dry ice, um, all the dry ice just normally sublimes. All the smoke comes out. Then as soon as the soap activates, bubbles. Just infinite bubbles just look at that it's an eruption of bubbles a volcano and these are actually really cool in the sense you can take them and if you like basically explode them because dry ice has like white gas boom like real white coat explosion just hold a bunch in your hand and it just goes like that this actually can go for a really long time and if you guys can see a lot has already been created Ooh. And you can just chop it off. And um, that's that. Hope you enjoy making it. So guys, uh, if you remember from my last video, I said I do end clips now. And um, this is the last introduction of my end clips I'll be doing. But end clips is basically a cool thing I want to show you at the end. And one more thing to say, sorry for the cough, is the last end clip that I'd say I do my whatever, the video I hinted to last end clip, that's the video after this one. So just keep waiting for that. But... Now to the actual end clip, what I want to show you was, if you just take all the bubbles, a lot of them, keep it in your hand, and I kind of hinted to this in the end of the, the actual video, but now this is the actual end I'll be showing you, the bubbles have gone, take more bubbles, a lot of bubbles, let it just get created, just wait, and when you have a lot of bubbles in your hand, just like clap, throw them in the clap, and the clap just makes a lot of fog, like I said, they explode out in white fog, and if you do a giant clap, just explosion of white in your hand. It's actually pretty cool. And for any comic nerds out there, I call this a uh, thunderclap. Or, the, you know, the Hulk thunderclap. Because it kind of looks like that, like a sound wave going through. But most people won't get that reference. But, you know, that's pretty cool. Not much. It takes quite a time to get all enough bubbles for the thunderclap. And these go out quite fast. Also, don't hold it down. It'll actually turn to a bomb. But, uh, bye.